trying to set this up for you. Hey, Flatland Artistry. Hi, Jesse. All right, that is way off. Let me try to remedy this for you guys. I'm uh, getting my resin mixed up. Using art resin today through the canvas of a child. Oh, I love that. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Yasuki. So, I did a story and asked what kind of a live you guys wanted. It's been a while the grandbaby came. Life got crazy. Anyway, the vote was pretty unanimous to do another geode style pour. Can everyone hear me okay? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Perfect. Thank you. So, got some, obviously we're going with some purples today. But I think maybe some magentas too. I don't know. You know, I think today I'm going to let you guys help me through it. You help me decide what we want to do. It'll be co-creative day. We've got like an hour before they cut me off. So, trying to get this mixed up really good. And then I'll show you what colors I've got over here to work with. I have lots of fun crystals. I have some amethyst. I have lots of glitters. I've got some mica powder. Yasuki, I was thinking of you when I was pouring my last uh, whale painting. And it's just about done, so I'm going to do a video and some pictures of it for you guys. Probably today or tomorrow. Alright, I think it's good and stirred up. So the next thing we want to do is get it pretty quickly into some smaller containers because you don't want to leave resin sitting too long in concentrated quantities like this or it will cure really quick. So I'm just going to get it poured out. If I miss any questions because I'm looking down or my program's laggy, then you guys can just message me later. No biggie. Do the best I can. Sometimes my phone overheats and it dies. You never know what will happen on a live pour. I'm just going to set those aside for right now. Pretty cup. Oh, just wait. It's going to get better. So I didn't do my usual geode um, shape, design. I need more room on this table. I did um, kind of just all over. Maybe it'll be more like a mineral specimen, but I'm thinking this will be the center. So let me show you what we've got working today. I've got little glass crystals. I've got some real amethyst, some mirrored glass, some Swarkovsky crystals, some white tumbled glass crystals because those will pick up the pigment. What do you guys think so far? Lots of fun stuff. And then I got this new holographic glitter in. Oh, the clay lines is Magic Sculpt. If you guys go to my um, bio page on Instagram and go to my links, there'll be one that says supplies and it'll show you what I use. And I have some videos on YouTube. If anyone, is anyone my YouTube followers on here? 
So I've got holographic kind of this lavender glitter and this magenta. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's a really cool, so it'd be fun to play with those. No problem. Like I said, if I don't see your questions, just uh, send me a message. Happy to answer questions. So those are all the sparkly things I've got sitting next to us. I've also got my go-to Darius glitters, which I love. Some silver and some really light lavender. I, I just have a whole bunch of things out because I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I don't have it planned out. I've got some diamond dust, which I'll show you what this looks like. This stuff's awesome. I don't know if you can see that. It's so cool. It's like little tiny sparkly shards of glass. So it's really pretty, but it's also very sharp. So I always get splinters in my hands if I'm not wearing gloves. Just to warn you. Okay, for our pigments, hello. I've got antique silver in case I want to put a darker line in. And I've got this um, Liquitex Silver Ink, which I would like to use, but it might cloud up. So we might experiment. Of course, I've got Pearl X Purple, and then I've got um, the Interference Lavender, which is really cool. Got my Black Diamond Purple, Purple Haze, Liquid Fire. Sorry if I'm going fast, I'm just, we've got resin curing and we've got a limited amount of time. Yes, Diamond Dust is amazing. All right, guys. So, you know how I am, I usually start in the middle and work my way around and I'm gonna look up and see what you guys suggest does that sound good maybe we'll co-create this geo today give me a thumbs up if you want to help so these I probably put way, poured way too much resin and I'll probably use some on coasters but yay I'm glad you're excited okay so Middle, I usually either go dark or light, but it doesn't matter a whole lot because the middle is where I'm going to put a lot of the crystals and sparkle. Yay, glad you guys are all here and excited. Okay, thumbs ups. So, I might just do a really light uh, tint. Maybe, actually, what I'll start with is I kind of want to just pick up the purple underneath. So, if I use this my favorite glitter ever by Darius is called Glitz and you guys I'm gonna start selling stuff on my website um, because I get so many questions and I get um, wholesale bulk so I have lots of this stuff so I'm gonna put a little of this under here because I want the middle to be really sparkly can you see Just dump it in there quite a bit be generous with the glitter It's kind of funny when I do my classes and people are like just sprinkling a little bit of glitter in and I'm like, dump it in. So see how this glitz kind of picks up color and it it's kind of changes. So let's pour a little of this down into our center and see if it picks up that purple, which is what I'm hoping it'll do. And if not, we'll add a little bit of purple to it. I hope you guys can see it looks a lot darker on camera than it is in real life. This is a lot lighter purple. So it's picking up the purple pretty well, but not enough. It's getting kind of blue. So I'm going to add, yeah, it looks bluish. I'm going to add some more resin to there. No worries. It might actually be fun if the color, the middle is a little bit light. I'm going to take some of my Pearl X and just add a little tiny bit to give it a purple tint. Let's see what this looks like. And like I said, it doesn't matter a whole lot because we're going to be putting a lot of our crystals in this section. There, now what do we think? That looks good, huh?
should have done that to begin with. All right, let's pour that on. Get, get some purple going in here. I didn't build my clay lines very tall. Yeah, I always experiment. I mean, not always, but I um, when I do lives, I'm usually just on the fly. And when I plan out my projects, they never go as planned, so I have to learn to be flexible, which is um, one of my learning experiences. <laughs> Patience and flexibility. Yeah, the two colors is kind of cool together, actually. But I think we're going to cover a lot of it up. Maybe we'll... This is how I discover techniques to do other projects. I'll be... I'll make a mistake, or I'll just be kind of goofing off, and all of a sudden I'll come up with a really cool blend. So, yeah. It's pretty. I'm going to heat it up just for a moment. Yeah, lots of happy accidents. Sometimes I get very frustrated and I think it's garbage and then I just let it sit and then I come back to it and then it turns out good. So never give up. So I'm just popping my bubbles in it. Lisbon, holy cow, hello. Glad to have you here. You love blue and purple together? Okay, maybe we'll... See what we can do here. Maybe this will turn into something totally different. I'll let you guys help me. So we're going to add crystals to this, but I want to keep pouring um, while my resin's fluid. And then we'll come back and add some crystals. So what do you guys think about in here? We've got this section, this section, this section, and this section. I've got a lot of pouring to do. And this is just the first layer, remember, because... We will go back and detail it and add more lines and glitter. Pink. All right. I've got this pink. What do you think? Does anyone else have a vote on pink? All right. We're going pink. This is kind of, um, this is liquid fire, and I think it's kind of a purple pink. We're going to find out. A coral pink. I have coral pink, too. I don't have it next to me. I think we'll we'll start with this and see what happens. How's that? And maybe we'll do one line and then do more of a different color out here. I don't know. If all else fails, we'll just dump crystals on them. And I like to mix and match my pigments too in my cup so you don't have to just do one color in your cup. I mix and match a lot of things. Mix it with a bit of pearl. That's what I'm thinking. A little bit lighter, right? Okay, there's that. Let me see what I've got. I've got this um, interference violet. Or inter we don't want interference blue. I do have white and pearl, but I have to go grab it. Oh, no, I'm not afraid of any of that. <laughs> because this is going to have crystals. I don't really stress a lot about the first layer because I know when I do these, I'm going to go back over them. So I don't, I don't really worry a whole lot about any of that stuff. Yeah, I think a bit. Here, let's just see what happens. That's Interference Violet and that Fiery Magenta by um, Black Diamond. And I've got that dark purple underneath, so so that's kind of pretty. It's a kind of a lavendery pink. Casey, that's my daughter, everyone. Hey, what are you up to? Are the kids napping? Okay, so what do you guys think? Hey, Stacy. Oh, Micah's the best. 
it's uh, so much, it does so many more cool effects than just like using paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour and I'm gonna stay to the inside and then decide if we wanna, or we may pour the whole thing and then add another color in it. Hey, Trendin, that's my grandson. Are you watching Grammy Pour? Don't laugh at my baby voice, y'all. Okay. So. This is so different than I usually do, this geode. Yeah, somebody pick Stacy. You guys, Stacy makes some really cool, like, um, travel tumbler, or travel mugs what do you call them Stacy and um, and um, she resins them and they're so cool and she does custom ones too so check her out she showed me them and I'm like ooh, that's an idea but <clears throat> I have way too many projects and ideas I don't need to start doing something like that I will leave those up to you Hi, Derek. Are you laughing at me? I can't keep looking up to see what's going on, so you guys feel free to talk amongst yourselves. Thirty ounce and twenty ounce tumblers. Okay. Stacy, you should start just a art page for your stuff. That's my suggestion. Might need to make some more of this. This was a bigger section than I was thinking because I was talking to you guys. See, I just move it around with my popsicle stick. I do have other little fun gadgets, but... So we might mix some more of that up. And don't worry, this is all gonna change. Oh, you did start a page? Okay. Um, tell me when it's you on there in case I don't realize it. Very cool. Does anyone have any questions for me while I'm playing with color here? I have an idea. Let's just do interference violet in that and see if we can get some blending going on. Hello. I'm sorry I don't know how to say everyone's names. Random artist. Yeah, interference violet. Okay, we're doing it. Oh, okay, custom creations by Stacy. Perfect. You need to get a picture on there. Put a picture of one of your tumblers on there. Just boss and Stacy around. See how I am? Look at that, you guys. Okay. Let's just pour this in. This is going to be a funky... Poor. but we're having fun and maybe you guys will learn a little something along the way I'm going to torch it just for a second I know if anyone loves Walking Dead she did Walking Dead tumblers which is I love the show. I really love our middle. Can't wait to add stuff to that. So, ah, oh, thanks, Random. So I'm gonna move this around a bit. 
and you guys be thinking about our next sections while I move this around. This is kind of fun. I don't feel so alone. Usually I'm in here by myself talking to my dog. Um, plant, I, th I would say um, it's a little bit of an investment getting started, but not terrible. It's a lot of fun, and once you get the hang of working with your resin, it's not hard. And there's all different kinds of resins and whatnot, so some of them are a little harder to work with than others. You might start with art resin. You have a long working time. It's fairly safe. And you don't have to use makeup powders. They can get a little pricey. You can use acrylic paint. Anyhow, I am working on an online course because I've had so many requests. I do teach out of my home studio, just a couple people and private classes. But um, obviously everyone can't come to Denver. So I am going to start an online course and I will uh, post that when it's done and ready. I'm just going to give this a little blending action. What is it? That's a good question. <laughs> this is a resin pour. We're trying to create kind of a mineral specimen, geode type thing, but we'll see what it may just be abstract, an abstract art piece. So I'm going to heat it up again. just to pop the bubbles and keep my resin a little bit fluid and also this brings out some of the effects and actually if you guys don't mind darker from the next one okay and don't forget these white lines those will be colors too but not today because I have to let it cure first so I'm gonna get my heat gun if you have your volume up you might want to turn it down this is loud and I'm going to blend this a little more, get a little more um, interest going. A little little bit of heat to see if it'll do some things so if you keep an eye on it it'll probably start making some interesting effects probably should have done a smaller one for a live because this might take longer than we have I think if Instagram shuts us off I can come right back though we'll see we reach our max time here. You guys are all over the place. I have green, I have yellow, I have dark. I don't have any of those colors sitting here. I might have to go get something. So I think this will be kind of bright and light, and this is kind of light. So maybe we ought to go more dark in that section, or maybe maybe that section will be glitter, or both. What do you think? Yeah, we have an hour, so if we're not done, let me know. I don't think we're going to be done, and we can um, turn it off, and I think it'll let me start again, and you guys all just have to hang in there if you want to just stay tuned. So I'm heating this up now because I'm trying to get some lacing and cell action. And when I can, I will show you close-ups of 
all the little interesting things going on. Okay, so maybe we could do, we've got the holographic glitter, and I could mix it with purple or just leave it. Or we could pour both. Um, I'm not wearing my mask because I'm talking. <laughs> but normally I would be wearing my mask. Art resin is fairly safe. It's uh, no VOCs. And, but when you do heat it, it does put off some fumes. So um, you can hear my voice getting a little hoarse. I am super extra sensitive to things. I have a health problem that causes me to be that way, unfortunately. So, yeah. I know, Stacy. Oops. I just dropped clear into that. Let me just show you what that does since I did an accident. It'll spread out your resin. And I'll show you another cool thing in a minute of what we can do with that. Pour both. Okay, so I'm thinking we'll start with the pigment and then we'll lay glitter into it and let it spread. Normally when I'm just doing this and I, if I was on time, I would have had some resin sitting and getting hard, cured. Which purple? I've got these three next to me. Reflex Violet by Pearl X, Purple or Purple Haze. Purple Haze is darker. These two are lo that's next, and then that's lightest. Yeah, it does get to me too, Stacy. So that one will be lighter. Do you want lighter or darker? Purple haze or the middle one? Okay, we're going with the middle one because I can't to just... Uh, be a mediator here. We're going to go in the middle. We're going to play it safe. Don't want anyone mad at me. These are pretty close together. Or I can mix a little of both. Will that make you happy? Okay, I'm going to mix a little purple haze in there for my purple hazers. Yeah, that purple haze is pretty awesome. So I don't know if you guys can see, but there's some pretty cool things going on in that section. How many layers do I do? It really depends on the what I'm going for and how it's looking. Usually four at the minimum. And by layers, I mean I'll let this cure and then I'll work on, I'll pour it lines or I'll add, you know. And when I'm done, I put a clear, clear coat over the whole thing. Oh, thank you, Minnie. Okay, this is pretty dark. So that's a combo of purple and purple haze. So I'm going to think I'll... You know what? I'm going to let some of this uh, holographic glitter start to s sit here while I'm doing this. That way we can, uh, maybe it'll start to set up a little. Look at this stuff. Oh, that's amazing. Maybe we should pour that in here. It might get lost in our dark purple. Well, I'm spilling it everywhere. Let's see. <laughs> I sure look like a, a pro right now, huh? Okay, I'm going to take this off camera so I can do this without spilling it all over our board. And then I'll show you how much I dumped in there. Boy, this stuff's pretty, though. Look at that. Um, again, that really depends on, I'm sorry that I'm not very specific, but it depends on my project. 
if I'm hating it, I'll change colors up. If I'm liking it, I'll try to just complement the colors I have. Yeah, resin doesn't like humidity. Resin likes about 72 to 75 degrees and not high humidity. But I appreciate the humid days because um, that means our dust levels are down. Well, we're going to have some glitter floating in there, but that's okay. No biggie. So, I'm going to make this even thicker. Because I want it to get where it doesn't spread out terribly much. But it will, just because we're kind of in a hurry. So, just fold it in there. Oh, really? It just doesn't set up, Stacy, or what? Look at, see how thick that is? Yeah. So, that would actually go really well in there. Decisions, decisions. I'm going to let that sit and pour our dark. I'm going to keep the dark out here in case we decide to glitter the other part. This actually looks more like a navy blue to me. I think we'll do it out here as well. Maybe we'll leave these two sections a different color. Oh, you get the divots? You don't think that's from something in the resin? Um, knock on wood, I haven't had that problem yet. So I'm hoping I don't. I've had, I had someone else message me about that problem as well. Well, our purple turned into navy blue, but it looks kind of cool. I'm going to heat it up a little bit and then move it around. Resin likes to go where resin has been, so even though this resin self-levels, it'll flow a lot easier if there's already resin there, which is why a lot of times you might see me laying down a clear coat before I begin, because it helps the resin travel easier to where I want it. Only when it's humid. Oh, okay. Well, I haven't had that problem so far, and I hope I don't. And I've even poured on rainy days, so I don't know. It resins a little finicky, that is for sure. What do you guys think of our color combo so far? This is not normally something I would pour. Oops. But It's good to go outside your comfort zone. I've been trying to do that more and more. Another little tip for you guys is if you blend colors, you'll get some really amazing effects that happen. You like it? Good. You like this part? All right. Okay, so we've got this. Should we pour it in here or pour it in here? Pour it in the navy. I'm going to pour it right up against and see it's really thick. We 
and my overflow into our other section. Heat it up a little. Let's move it around a little. Oh, really? Yeah, the colors aren't coming through accurately on my camera. It's interesting. That's why I take a lot of my pictures outside when I do my art pictures because inside my camera, I have every color under the sun basically. So I, um, I do a white there, but that's a lot of white. And don't forget, we've got to add all our stones and stuff pretty quick. And that'll change the whole look of it. Trendin wants to do it when he gets bigger. Yes. Trendin, Grandma, Grammy will have you over to play with art when you get bigger. So are you guys feeling a light color here too? I could just do the... Um, Lavender. I got such small cups, I don't know what I was thinking. Let me get a paper cup here for this. Oh, yeah, I wanted to do silver. I forgot about silver. Um, that's going to be a lot of silver, though. I might come back and do silver over that. What do you guys think? Should we just do silver? The silvers I have are really dark. And I, I have silver glitter though, but we're getting a lot of glitter going. <laughs> Grammy loves you, Trendin. I'm surprised you're still watching. This is why you do multiple layers because if you don't want it to all blend together, then once it cures, then you can come back and add the color you're thinking you want. He's into it. That's so funny. He's three year old, three year old, and he's totally watching Grandma pour. Okay, so we've got silver. We've got the light. Should we just do both? Um. I wish I had, I've got this Liquitex silver. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm going to put a little drop into this resin and see what happens. Yeah, because I could come back and do silver for the lines, which might be really nice. So it's more like a pearl color. So that's what happens with that. And then I've got um, let's mix some silver glitter. Try not to dump it in our other colors this time. Oh, that's pretty. A lot of sparkle going on here. Oops, I'm not keeping up with your... Yeah, it'll change with the crystals, so I don't know why I'm worrying too much about this. Ooh, this silver's... Pretty. I 
and you're saying drop a little lavender into the silver. Um, I'm trying to save the live. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And I'm trying to record on my phone too, but this uh, Instagram Instagram doesn't always cooperate. I'll hit save and it won't save, so. I agree, no on silver liquid text. Are any of my YouTube channel peeps here? Trying to decide whether to start doing YouTube lives as well. Haven't done that yet. I think we need a little. Well, let's just lay down some silver and then we'll go in and fill it in with something else. Because this silver isn't just silver, it's got other colors in it too. Did I make enough? Oh, thank you, Mandy Lee. Oh, awesome. If I can have the time, I think that I'd like to do a YouTube live and an Instagram live. It'd be great if I could do them both at the same time on the channels, but I don't know how to do that. Now pink again. Okay. You guys are so funny. Okay, once we get this section done, we're going to start adding. I'm going to show you how I layer my crystals and stuff. And how's our time? We probably don't have enough time. I'm going to probably get booted. So if you guys hang on, I'll try to restart it again. Ooh, I love the silver. I'm so glad I forgot who suggested that. I'm so glad you did because I wanted to use it and I almost forgot. And I kind of wonder if should just let this cure and then add another color or go ahead and go for it. Do you think um, light pink or I do have gray, but I don't, I'm not a huge gray fan, but maybe that would look pretty cool. What should we do here? Should we add some, and we and I kind of like to put crystals out on the edges too, so keep that in mind. This will be crystally and this will be crystally, so whatever we do will be covered up a lot. Okay, I think it looks like pink is the vote, so let's see if I can get enough resin and get some pink. And you guys think a light pink? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Oh, you're right, abalone. That's kind of cool. Maybe that's what we will call it. Okay, so pinks. I'll be right back. I didn't grab a lot of my pinks. I'm going to go see what I've got. Most of my pinks are like corally pink. I've got pink pearl, which is, I don't know. Uh, 
Um, this is Super Russet and Merlot. Those aren't very pink. The other thing I could do is just take our one we did there and lighten it up. And remember we're adding no on that. What about Pink Pearl? Or we could just do add a lot of crystals. Tell me which one. Pink Pearl or we can lighten up liquid fire with some white. <laughs> I've got yes and no, but I don't know what to which. Pink pearl? Yeah. The same I did before. You know what? Let's, um, since it's going to have crystals on it anyway, We'll just um, do a little bit of this and lighten it up and call it a day. Maybe I'll throw a little bit of... Ooh, that came out darker than I wanted. Add, where did my pearl go? You like the pink pearl? Well, I already mixed the other. Let's um, put a little of this in there. Ooh, got so many colors, I'm running out of sticks. You should see the mess around this, guys. Thank you, Manny. I appreciate that. <laughs> if it shuts off suddenly, it's because we lost our time, and I will come back. I'm going to add a little bit of white to this. Because it's really dark not what we were wanting. Um, when I do the crystals, when I say layers, it doesn't mean I'm covering the whole thing up with resin. It, may, it just may mean I'm working on a section or a part of it. Alright, this isn't the most amazing color, but I'm going to just throw it down so we can move on so we don't get our crystals setting up, I mean our resin setting up too much. And we'll add crystals onto that. Yeah, not loving that color at all. Looks like Pepto-Bismol. Let me heat it up a minute. I'm going to move it around. Then we're going to go to crystal time. You guys laughing at my Pepto-Bismol? We're going to make it pretty. Don't worry. But I love that silver and it's staying put because we made it really nice and thick. So that's one trick if you're doing a free pour where you don't have your clay lines. Just let your resin sit and make it really thick or pour a line, let it cure, and then go back. You mean the silver glitter mix that into pink?
Yeah, we should have repeated the middle. I think someone said that. That might have looked good. Yeah, I agree. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to show you how cool that looks. And this is something I do a lot in my pieces. I'm going to take some of that glitz. Yeah, the mermaid color is the glitzy color with the purple we did. See how thick my resin's starting to get? Yeah, it's getting pretty gummy, so we got to get busy with our crystals. Let me see if I've got some resin here to do what you guys are saying. Not much. We've got this purple, too. I could always throw that in there. Are you still watching, Trendon? Yeah, it might not, it won't look the same, guys, because we've already got that base color down. I think we probably should have done that to begin with. And I'm low on what I have mixed up, unfortunately. So... We're going to take our glitz. <laughs> Such a mess. Where did it go? There you are. I am happy it didn't mix too. I had that same thought. Pick it up. Pick it up. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I'm going as fast as I can. This is like super speed for me. This is really thick. Let's start in the corner. We don't have very much. Oh, pick up the white thing. <laughs> Where did that come from? Good Lord, what would I do without you? Okay. A <laughs> few. <laughs> you guys are funny. You're like my uh, support team here. It's fun doing this live, but you all are distracting me. Crisis averted. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, that would have <laughs> not been. I think I. I hope I would have noticed it eventually, but you never know. But you never know. All right, we're kind of out of that, so we're going to just stop, give it a heating, and we're going to start crystallizing this baby. Because I bet our metal, middle is setting up. All right, so what I usually do is I start with big chunks and go to smaller chunks. That didn't sound good, but you know what I mean, of glitter glass and whatnot. Oh, I had my hairland in resin, too. I, uh, yep, I had to cut mine as well. That wasn't fun, was it? So I've got these mirror glass. I'm going to take some gloves off. Always double glove, guys. There's a little tip for you. Actually, I usually don't wear gloves when I'm working the crystals. So I may whip these babies off because it annoys me. So we're going to leave some of that purple around the edges.
You had hip length hair? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I would have cried. My needed a haircut anyway, but I think I had to take off just a few inches. And I tried to get it out with rubbing alcohol really quick, but it didn't work. Yeah, double glove, because a lot of times I use my hands to spread the resin, and then you can wipe it off with your alcohol wipes, but it uh, helps to be able to take one off and keep going. That's one of those little tricks I learned along the way. I can't remember who I learned that from. What do you think of that? Isn't that pretty? And the, the little mirrored parts catch the light. A lot of times I work on these centers over the course of weeks. I'll keep doing adding details because my resin's setting. Like I might go back and add the little Swarovski crystals into it. stop at those and then I think I'll go to I've got these little um, crystal and then I kind of fill in the gaps with with smaller we might have to add a little resin this is getting too dry that's what happens when I'm talking and And then let's add a little bit. Oh yeah, I've never had that happen. This is the diamond dust. You guys there? Our hour was up. Yeah, our hour went up, and my phone is getting really hot, so I might uh, lose you anyway. Have tweezers on hand to pull out the ones that you don't want. And then I'm going to take some of the glitz. Oops, too much. Hey, guys. Sorry, our time was up. And then you drop that down into the crystals, and that gives it that last little pop of shimmer. Something like that, anyway. Look at my hand. Ah. The large ones are clear but they have a silver mirrored backing on them. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully it'll record the whole thing but who knows. Alright so I'm going to add some crystals. Actually these are pretty cool looking. There are a couple of those in there too. These are kind of holographic. My friend Joanne gave me these. We're back. Hi, Minnie. I know. Hopefully my phone doesn't overheat. It's getting pretty hot. I told the store that I was doing that, and they said they'd upgrade me. Um, just bring it in, and they'll upgrade me. So maybe... I will do that, and then I won't have a phone that overheats.
All right, I'm just gonna add a little bit. Do I have any clear left? No, this is why I always save clear. There's a little. There's a little on here so these stones stick. Yeah, we've been working this resin at its peak time. It's, it is curing quickly now. But that's okay. We can go back and add later. Uh, thanks, Patricia. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go to this outer edge and not worry about this right now because of our curing issue. I'm thinking I'm going to add some of these big chunks. Break up our Pepto-Bismol pink that we have going on here. From Holland. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you for joining. This has been a group effort, this piece. It's been kind of fun. That one looks green. We don't want that in there. Oh, thanks, Margie. I didn't even know you were on. It's hard to look up and see what everyone's doing. That's my cousin, everyone, Margie. We're just trying to add a few embellishments while we've got time, and then the rest will have to wait till it cures and we start over because it's curing quickly. Oh, really? You're in India? Gosh, there's people from all over. That's pretty amazing. I love that. Okay, now I'm going to add some of this. If my phone overheats and I lose you, I'm going to keep working and I will post pictures when I get my hands free. You guys are talking so quick I can't keep up. Just have at it. I'm just going to keep playing. Yeah, our resin's getting really set up, so I'll have to come back and finish this one later, probably. Well, for sure, for sure it's not done. I think what we can do here in this pink is add white lines later and maybe through here. Anyway, it'll it'll transform even more. And I'd like to add some of these Swarovski crystals into there. But it'll have to wait. So for now I'm just going to keep going with this section. And I'll have to come back to the rest.
Oops, dropping them in the wrong spots. A uh, watercolor geo. That would be cool. We want to see. So if anyone's in the Denver area, I will be at the gallery Saturday until about 3.30 at the Rocks Arts Gallery in Littleton at Aspen Grove. And some of my larger pieces are hanging in there. So stop by and say hi if you're around. And what else is going on? Yeah, I'd love to see a picture of that. And if you guys comment and I miss it, it's because I just didn't see it. I, I'm getting a lot of comments these days. So if you don't hear from me, just send me a direct message. I always respond to those. Unless you're a weird creeper person, then I don't. <laughs> but I am trying to respond to everyone. I have a really great community here and I really appreciate it. Does anyone else get creepers messages? I never thought that would happen on Instagram. I guess I'm just naive. <laughs> it's weird. It's like you can see I have a husband and I'm married and ugh, I don't know. I just I don't get it. Joanne. So for the most part, I get really amazing people. You do too? I know. It's like when did Instagram become a dating site? Right? I'm here to create art, people. Oh, yeah. Mine aren't wanting... Mine aren't always just wanting to chat. They're... I don't know. Anyway, enough of that subject. I think my grandson, if my grandson's still listening, we don't want him to hear about creepers. Hey, Chris. Did you use your product yet? See you could what you could be making? Oh, I know. So I'm glad I'm not alone out there that, you know, and I'm not like this young, good looking girl. So I'm thinking all these young, good looking girls on Instagram, they must be getting harassed constantly. What do you guys think of our mess here? I, uh... Wish we could keep going, but this resin is reaching its max. Isn't this glitz amazing? Just sprinkle it in and it lays right in between the crystals and gives it a little pop. I know, a lot of creepers. I don't know why I was surprised. I just never thought about that on Instagram, I guess. But I have so many awesome, creative, I've made friends, and uh, yeah, it's been cool. Really appreciate you guys. I know, the glitz is fabulous. Alright, well this all needs extra stuff. But we are running out of our time. It's getting pretty tacky. You can see there. Whoop. 
yeah, getting really tacky. I'm going to bring you in. This, this area looks really cool. I'm, I'm excited to keep playing with that more. I think that I've got something going on there we don't want. So yeah, I'm envisioning pouring more silver somewhere in here, maybe, on this line to bring it all together, or maybe around there. I don't know. We'll see. So that's our first layered and hurried fashion with your 